Welcome back or welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am Stendhal and on this channel, we talk about the wonders of nature and its benefits for healthy hair, skin, nails, gut health, and so much more. Today, we are going to be talking about the amazing benefits of black tea. Now, I know you heard about green tea. What if I told you that black tea is green tea's like super gangster cousin? Let's talk about it. Remember, everything that I'm saying about herbs on my channel is for somebody whose diet is already running down a good path. If you eating double cheeseburgers with mac sauce and extra pizzas of bacon every day, don't think you're gonna drink a little bit of tea and everything gonna be breezy. But number one. Black tea is excellent at promoting hair growth because of its one main factor, caffeine. Caffeine stimulates the hair follicle when applied topically or when ingested. Now, when it comes to herbs, you can use herbs in multiple different ways. My favorite way to use it personally is to make it a part of your everyday, uh, make it a part of your diet. I love to use it as a coffee replacement when I am not detoxing with my dandelion and chicory root. I love this blend because it's super duper easy to make. I brew it and I let it sit for approximately three to four minutes and then I add some almond milk creamer. Oh, it is everything. And then after that, I drink it. If you wanted to use herbs topically, what you need to do is first make either a tincture or a glycerite. If you're interested in doing either one of those things, make sure you head over to my website where I have different courses and lectures that you can purchase. And some of these courses and lectures are as low as like $2. So head over to learn more. Number two strengthens hair. The antioxidants present in black tea really, really aid the hair at protecting the scalp and the body from oxidative stress. This is oxidative stress. This is the definition of oxidative stress. And if you go to the video linked in the description box below, I'll tell you all about oxidative stress and what it does to the body and how it leads to thinning and balding and even problems with your skin. When your body is powerful and when the follicle is able to protect itself against oxidative stress, you end up improving the integrity of your hair strands, making it stronger and stronger and less prone to breakage. Number three, reduces shedding. Because of this content within black tea, this content being maintained properly within the hair ensures that the hair's density is maintained. The normal person has about 100,000 follicles on their scalp and each follicle has anywhere between one to four strands. And over time, your hair sheds. But this is going to really, really help you with your hair's natural hair growth cycle, which we will talk about in a second. But when it helps you with your hair's natural hair growth cycle, it reduces the amount of time that your hair spends in the canogen phase. And the canogen phase of the hair growth cycle is the phase of the hair growth cycle where your hair detaches itself from the blood supply and falls out. So by increasing the presence of this content within the body, you are able to reduce the time frame that your body spends within the shedding phase. The you not losing that much hair, boo, and your hair staying thicker. We already went deep into how it helps the hair, but that was surface level and I wanna go a little deeper. When applied topically or when ingested into the body, drinking it as a tea, you can actually extend your hair's natural hair growth cycle. This will in return promote longer and healthier hair because your hair growth cycle will be a little longer and you won't be shedding hair as much because you've already cut that canogen phase shorter. Now remember, green tea also is one of the world's most powerful DHT blocker. In the human body, what end up happening is you have testosterone in the body and the testosterone, the testosterone ends up converting to DHT. This is the scientific word for it, all right? And when it converts into DHT, DHT attacks the hair's follicle. So remember, green tea is a 
powerhouse at preventing that conversion but black tea is like the gangster version of green tea so it really does it in like super overpower drive remember oxidative stress is when you have free radicals so i'll just use it for an example right so let's say it's two people together right it's two people together they twins and one twin keep the other twin together but sometimes like let's say your diet is off stress happens anything that causes a disruption within the body what ends up happening is those twins break apart right and so now that those twins have broke apart because either one of them one of them left or one of them is damaged in some type of way then you have a free radical so the little ghetto twin is running around just causing havoc and stuff and messing up stuff so what happens when you drink something like black tea what it does it goes ahead and it caps that free radical so that way that free radical ain't just walking around starting stuff it give them a new cousin maybe it's not a twin but it give them a new best friend or a new cousin to help it chill out a little bit so that's like how you have to think about free radicals in the body when you are ingesting when you are ingesting nutrient dense herbs and nutrient dense foods what you end up doing is helping your body to cap off those free radicals because those free radicals end up breaking breaking havoc on the body and causing different types of diseases because it's looking for a friend and sometimes it becomes friends with stuff it don't have no business being friends with and then you got a disease Mm -hmm. So remember, if you have a bunch of free radicals in the body and they're looking for something else, remember, they can attach themselves to the cells that are being produced in the anogen phase of the hair growth cycle. And that's the phase of your hair growth cycle where your body's producing new cells. So if you got a bunch of crazy cousins going around looking for friends, it's going to attack your cells so one of them dies. So it could be like, all right, now that your little friend didn't die, can I sleep in your bed? and then that's what ends up happening you end up getting follicle death different forms of alopecia and different things of that nature number three remember it has amazing anti-inflammatory properties and with these anti-inflammatory properties it makes it so your hair is your scalp is healthy so as long as you're keeping your scalp clean and you're shampooing your hair on a regular basis this will also help with your body not ingesting and holding on to all of those free radicals or those things that attack your cells because one thing that i have to learn remember like whenever we are eating meat from the grocery store they have um preservatives on it and preservatives preservatives are killing bacteria and it's going to kill good bacteria and bad bacteria so by you constantly eating that if you don't have a healthy balance of good vegetables and like foods that are alive as you're eating foods that are killing all of your good and bad bacteria you end up getting an imbalance and then that causes you to have a bunch of free radicals because the antibiotics are eating everything within your body so you want to make sure that you are putting things within your body that is going to cause your body to be protected from those free radicals number two the anti-aging properties of this content right here listen this is the superstar right here and this superstar star protects you from aging too fast it reduces the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines to uphold the appearance of youthful looking skin skin rejuvenation listen black tea holds this powerhouse right here that is so powerful and amazing number one when it comes to tightening and toning the skin giving it a beautiful and refreshing look one really great thing that is good to do is to make Make an extract out of it and you can put it like in your bathtub or you can even do like a herbal bath soap it's amazing and of course you can drink it I love doing like tea baths something that is really really amazing to do you can get just a couple of like little flakes of black tea and you can either brew it ahead of time and then put the tea in the bathtub or you can just put the tea in the bathtub but it's gonna be a little you know 
extra to clean it up. Use topically on the skin, and this is not the actual tea. This is if you make, for example, an extract out of it, you can make an extract out of it, like displayed here. If you want to see that full video, go ahead and watch it. Link in the description box below. You can purchase that video. Mm -hmm. And you can simply get a non comedogenic oil, put a couple of drops of it in that non comedogenic oil, and then rub it on the skin, and it could be like a natural sunblock. It's UV induced damage. So it's something that's really good for you to put on your skin if you are a person who makes like your own herbal butters. But I really, really want to enforce with everybody if you are a person who wants to use herbs, don't just brew tea and then put the tea in your hair. If you want to use herbs in your hair, you need to make an extract or glycerite and put a couple of drops of it inside of an oil, inside of a carrier oil. So it is the same thing as if you were to use an essential oil because with essential oils, you don't just put them right directly on the scalp or in the skin. You need a carrier oil. With, with the extract, it's the same thing. If you want to really, really use the properties of these herbs on an external level, it's really, really good for you to make an extract. It's really, really simple to do. Link in the description box below. Again, let's keep going. It strengthens nails. These two mineral present within black tea are so amazing for maintaining stronger and healthier nails make sure you check the link in the description box below so head over to my blog so you can read up more about each one of these botanicals herbs antioxidants all of this stuff all of the details over on my blog when used topically again so you would need to use an extract something like the ones on my website you would need to use an extract again with the carrier oil but it's amazing for getting rid of a uh, fungal infection so let's say you have a fungal infection of the skin like your toes or something all you would need again is a non comedogenic oil a couple of drops of it and then boom shickle the boom anti-fungal remember do your research but it's great at tackling nail fungus you can make a glycerite out of it mix it with a carrier oil and put it on your nail kill the infection actually with an infection you probably could get away with putting a little bit of it on the skin but i really really recommend you just mixing it with the carrier oil just to be safe especially if you putting it in your hair lastly gut health black tea can have an estrogen property to the stomach which in return really really helps you to relieve the cause of diarrhea it has a really really great effect on the digestive system any digestive issues that you're having by you ingesting this tea on a regular basis it really really helps to regulate those digestive issues polyphenols in this tea are really really amazing with the gut microbiome it really really increases and promotes the growth of healthy bacteria within the gut remember i tell you guys on every video you, most people think that biotin is something that you have to take in pill form but no biotin is produced within the gut so the healthier the bacteria within your gut is the healthier your hair will grow the healthier your skin will appear the healthier your nails will appear you know why your hair skin and nails are all made of the same protein called keratin and keratin is produced within your gut so if you are ingesting something that is producing or encouraging the growth of healthy bacteria within the gut black tea is gonna be that thing for you but I want you to remember if you have a dusty diet don't expect tea to help your hair grow or to help your skin be okay because what's actually going to be happening you instead of the tea doing all of the amazing things for you what it's going to be doing is fighting against the food that you're eating it won't have the opportunity to help your hair grow or any of these things we've talked about in this video the only thing the tea is going to be doing is fighting the things that you eat so really really be cautious of that so stop sending me emails talk about something if i drink this how long it's gonna take for my hair to grow i don't know girl if you eating double cheeseburgers every day number three anti-inflammatory properties are amazing at relieving gut issues sometimes you may notice like you just you could be on the toilet and i understand this is me but i don't know 
somebody I heard you could be on the toilet for like an hour and don't nothing happen but you pooting and then out of nowhere stuff just turn around well guess what when you drink this what happens is it alleviates all of that discomfort within your gut and it helps everything that's in there to get moving because remember it's caffeine rich and it just I feel like it gives everything a shot like come on girl get out these anti-inflammatory properties when ingested really really helps to alleviate gut issues that you're having so it helps to keep that microbiome moving so if you want to extend your hair's natural hair growth cycle while increasing the amount of healthy gut bacteria you have to produce healthy hair skin and nails then black tea is the thing that you should get and if you're interested make sure you check the links in the description box below so you can get your hands on some black tea from simple apothecary i love you so much thank you for watching this video and until next time Stop just putting random tea in your hair.